the Western theater of the Civil War, the forgotten theater of the war. A couple of aspects about the Western theater that are they're very crucial to the war's outcome and, and I think for far too long have been ignored or underplayed. The war begins in the spring of 1862, places like Fort Donelson and Shiloh. Shiloh is the first major battle of the war that really awakens the American public to the idea that this war is going to be particularly costly, brutal, and last much longer than was anticipated. But Shiloh also allows two characters to ultimately survive and, and rise up and have a major impact in the ultimate Union victory which is Ulysses S. Grant and William Tecumseh Sherman. Without those two, victory by Union forces, I think, is, um, is much more questionable. Plus, you also have great strategic victories. I think it is hard to argue against the impacts of, of victories such as Vicksburg and Chattanooga, and even Atlanta for U.S. forces. Vicksburg splits the Confederacy in two. Chattanooga seals Tennessee's fate once and for all and opens up Georgia to an invasion by Sherman's forces. Atlanta ultimately helps re-elect Abraham Lincoln to a second term. Plus, the Western Theater, from the Mississippi to the Appalachian Mountains, is a much broader and greater strategic area. There's much more naval action in the Western Theater along the coastlines of Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. These are all areas that have so much to do with how the war progresses. And let's face it, the battles in the Western Theater, from Shiloh to Murfreesboro, Atlanta, Chickamauga, the second highest casualty total of any battle in the war behind only Gettysburg, had much to do with how the war was progressing. And to go back to Grant, Especially, Robert E. Lee in the East had defeated one federal general after another. It was only when Grant, who had made his career in the West, was brought East, that the Eastern Theater began to turn in favor of the U.S. forces. And when Grant went East, Sherman stayed West and began to apply the, the final nails to the coffin of the Confederacy. So I, I don't think there's, there's any way to downplay the significance. Would I say that the Western theater is more important than the Eastern theater? I might say that in jest sometimes, but I think it's at least, at the very least, the equal to the East, and for too long has been relegated to second place. And I, I think the men who fought here uh, on both sides deserve the fate better than to um, be looked upon as uh, of second importance. So the Western Theater is the forgotten theater, and uh, it's my hope that uh, that changes uh, in the years to come.